Good morning from the farmer's garden. I'm one of the farmers and we're out here about to get started laying plastic mulch and getting ready to plant onions. Uh, so we got started on our plastic mulch last night. We had to make an egg run so we didn't get them all put in. But I think we've got everything set so we should be ready to roll this morning and hopefully get these done pretty quickly. So the onions are going in the area where we grew squash last year. We do try to kind of move things around. Uh, squash specifically, there are a lot of bugs that will overwinter in the soil. So it's kind of handy if we can move them a little bit. Naturally, the bugs that are here will make it to where they are. We're not moving them far enough to completely eliminate those bugs. Uh, but it'll help some to not be planted straight into the same place as last year. So we're going to get started and hopefully I'll be able to show you all some of this today. All right, there he goes. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a video of how we start this process because it's uh, fairly hands-on from my point of view. Um, so what we do, we start on the end, we pull the drip tape out pretty far, we pull the plastic out further than we need it to go. Um, while Brandon is on the tractor, I kind of get everything set and hold it in place. And then he lowers the uh, mulch layer down with me standing behind it, we get everything set. And then I bury the end of the plastic. And then my job is to stay here and hold this for a little bit. Um, by now I'm probably safe to let it go, but we have had it uh, pull out before. The, the roll didn't unroll, it just pulled this. So I usually stay here for a while, make sure the drip tape isn't gonna pull out. Um, but that's pretty much the process. So we are putting the rows a little bit closer together this year to get more vegetables in a smaller space. That's always the goal. But so far everything is looking really good. We're just going to continue this process across the field for a little while. Alright, we've been at it for a little over 30 minutes. We just changed rolls of plastic. The other one was still, it was more than half a roll probably, but we have tried every setting we can think of on the um, right side of the mulch layer and it continues to not unroll correctly. So we're testing to see um, is it operator error? Are we still messing it up? Or was that roll rolled funny? Um, it could be either one, honestly. <laughs> but we're going to try switching this and see if that works. Like I say, we've got the left side is working great. The left side hasn't given us trouble. But this right side has been giving us fits the last several times we've laid plastic so we're going to just try swapping rolls and see if that'll fix it for us otherwise we'll keep tinkering with it all right fingers crossed prayers said all that stuff this was the only hiccup on this row is where it didn't pull dirt over the plastic so maybe 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 we have it set right um one reason we hate to keep stopping and adjusting, every time we stop to adjust, we seem to add a new squirrel to our rows, and we like our rows to be nice and straight. Those two are pretty straight, the first two, and then this morning they're just squirrely. We'll get them straightened back out, or we won't, and it'll be fine either way. Um, also, can we just take a minute to appreciate this soil? Brandon dissed this and added fertilizer and everything yesterday, and it is light and fluffy and ready to take in water and amazing and wonderful and we're excited. We've got 10 rows with mulch, and then we're gonna do a few rows without mulch. Uh, the mulch ones will be for the onions. These without mulch will be for things like radishes, turnips, uh, possibly carrots, uh, that sort of thing that needs to be direct seeded. Um, we have a little bit more trouble getting those up through plastic. Those, Some of them come up through plastic okay, but some of these smaller ones do not. So. 
we're just going to have open beds for them. We've still got the drip tape in it, um, and it'll it'll still be the same spacing of rows and all that good stuff. It just won't have the plastic on it. I don't know if we'll get these things planted today or not. Our goal is to get the onions planted, and I think we have like 5,400 onions or something like that. Some insane number. Uh, so I don't know if we'll get to this part or not. This sort of gives you a view of what is happening inside that plastic when he's pulling it. So again, this is an open row for radishes and turnips and that sort of thing. Um, so we've taken off the back wheels that normally close the dirt over. And so this is just the shape of the bed that would be inside the plastic if we had the plastic on. Uh, so the, the tape rolls out, it's a few inches underground as it goes out and then um, the bed is formed over it. All right, we have been out after lunch for less than an hour. We've got the first row planted. I don't have a good way to show y'all how we're doing this. Um, we're poking holes, we're planting onions. Uh, there's not a good way to get a video of it and still work efficiently. Uh, so we've tried a couple of different methods to poke holes. Um, they're all gonna be labor intensive because that's just where we are right now on the farm. We don't have um, equipment to automate this process. It's just labor intensive. Uh, so what we settled on was some sticks that we're using to poke holes. Then we come in, we put the onion in and we just uh, mash the dirt around it to close the hole. Um, hopefully this will work well. Uh, we have enough onions. If we lose a few, we'll be okay. But hopefully we won't lose very many. So that's one row down. Nine more to go. We've been out here for about four hours now. Um, we are always really good at trying to do way too much in a day than what we can actually get done. Uh, so far we have planted five rows. We're working on row number six. Uh, we have 10 rows with plastic, and we're expecting to use all 10 rows to plant all of our onions. Uh, but it's getting close to 5 now, so we'll be having to stop soon to take care of chickens and that sort of thing. Um, what we have in is looking good. It's there, and it's looking nice. Uh, we'll also have to get drip irrigation hooked up pretty soon. If we don't get that hooked up tomorrow then we may just set up the big sprinkler and water with that, but we want to make sure these get water pretty quickly. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's just taking a long time. Alrighty, we got six rows done. So three rows each of red onions and white onions. We didn't get any of the yellow onions started today, uh, but we'll work on it again tomorrow and hopefully get all of those in. These had been stored longer than I would prefer. I think they're gonna be fine. They actually look pretty good. Um, but we ordered these right before that uh, cold spell and the sleet and everything that came a couple weeks ago. And so they didn't get out immediately because we had a week of that nasty weather and then rain. And so it, it they had to be stored for a little bit, but they look pretty good. Um, so I think they'll do fine. We'll see. Like I say, we'll get them watered pretty quickly and we'll get the rest of those planted we also didn't get to any radishes or turnips today, obviously. Anyway, that was a long full day. <laughs> we started, I think we got out here about like 8.30 or 9. It's about 5 o'clock now. Um, the, the plastic beds went pretty quick. That was done by 10.30 or 11 this morning. But then the onion planting itself is just super labor intensive because each one is planted by hand. So we feel pretty good. We got... Um, almost all of the white ones and pretty close to I'd say like three-fourths of the red ones are in um and then we'll do the yellows and then the other rows will be just mixes of whatever onions are left will go in together it's not like we can't tell the difference once we pull them we'll know um so productive day a good day uh we're tired now thank y'all for stopping by the farm I hope you enjoyed your visit y'all be sure and tell your friends about our YouTube channel and come back when you can stay longer